I'll just read this. So this guy says, hey, Harry, remember when I asked you advice on the girl who I was on our sixth or seventh date? Well, it turns out she, she recently told me that she felt relationship vibes and would like to demote me to a friend. I ignored her for about two weeks and she called me up to ask how I'm doing. She ended, she ended up coming over the, the next go round and had fun. Since then, I've moved on and have gone on coffee dates with other girls and following your advice and building an abundance mindset. Just thought I'd give you an update. Thanks, your advice is great. Oh, oh, it warms my heart to hear when I'm right because of something that I said. So let's recap this guy's situation, right? This guy had gone on six or seven dates with a woman and she gave him the old, you know, I think that you're feeling that this is more of a relationship thing and I'm feeling more of a friendship vibe, so I want you to be a friend. Why does that happen? That happens because us guys, we think we're doing the world's best job of not trying to show her that we're already thinking about her in a relationship capacity after like two or three dates. I remember when I was in school, I was doing my darnest to hide. When I had crushes on women, I was doing my best to not try to show them that I that I had feelings for them or that I was you know secretly like pining for them. Come to find out, spoiler guys, they all knew whether or not they wanted to call out or not because they were trying to keep the friendship going is a different story, but they all knew. They all knew I was acting weird. I was stumbling off words. I was acting funny. I was asking them weird things. They all knew. So women catch the vibe that we're throwing out there that we already want them in a relationship capacity. Now, if you're dating somebody, ideally it's going towards that direction. But even then, this is why I tell you guys, one, it's better for her to like you more than she, than you like her. But number two, it doesn't matter what you feel. All that matters is where she's at in her feelings journey. We as men get there faster. It takes them two to three months to solidify their feelings. So if at any time during that two or three months, they start to get the feeling that your like for them is higher than theirs is for you, what they're going to think is he likes me a whole lot. I don't know if I'm going to get there. It's now unfair to him for me to keep on dating him or giving him the idea that this could potentially be a relationship when I'm not currently feeling those things and he already is. And therefore I either got to be out or I got to make this a friendship, which is exactly what he said. He said that she felt relationship vibes, meaning that she was feeling from him that he wanted a relationship. And so she said, we should just be friends now because of what I say on this show, he did the exact right thing, which is you're not in the, process of trying to get with her to just be friends. Your point of dating her and going out with her is to land in a relationship. If she decides to say, you know what? I want to get off that plan and go down to the friendship plan. You don't have to accept that. In fact, your answer should basically be, you know what? I understand where you're coming from, but that's just not where I'm at. Cause I, even I, you might be feeling relationship vibes. I'm just trying to get to know you more, but I get it. You're not there yet, but I'm not trying to make this into a friendship at some point. So, Hey, best of luck to you on your journey. And hey, if you decide that you want to go out again and change your mind, hit me up. And then you leave her alone. And this, and this is what you guys are afraid of. You guys are afraid that if you leave the woman alone, if you stop talking to her, if you, if you decide not to answer her text or, or not initiate any text to her rather, that she's going to, she's going to forget about you and go away. And I keep trying to tell you guys, women's attraction for you grows in your absence. This is why you should not be texting a girl right away after a date. This is why you should not be texting a woman nonstop. And I'm going to actually go over a story a little bit later where a guy did that and it flamed out in like two weeks. But suffice to say, this guy made the smart move. He said, if she wants to be a friendship. I don't want that. I'm not going to talk to her. And what happened two weeks later? She calls him. She chases after him because if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. And she says, hey, just want to know how you're doing. Anytime a woman that you were dating that got rid of you reaches out to you, for anything, to say what's up, to say how are you doing, that is woman passive code for, oh, please invite me over to your place. Oh, please ask me out again. I don't want to look like I have egg on my face or coming back to you. This is already hard enough for me coming to you and trying to reach out to you and hoping you're not going to ignore me. Please do the rest of the work. And this guy caught on. She said, hey, how you doing? He said, come over. She comes over. Next thing you know, they had a fun time in the bedroom. All right. So even and then the best part is he decided not to stick with her because there's a guy. Hey, ultimately, we sometimes give too much power to women about them choosing us. Like we think, oh, my God, I got to do all the right stuff in order for her to choose me. But guys, women are the ones that are chasing relationships. 
At the end of the day, it is up to you to be the chooser. Yes, you're choosing her initially in terms of like you want to take her out and see what's what. But in terms of a relationship, that decision is up to you. And smart women know that, which is why they're going to do everything they can to make sure that they're doing the right things to make you want to choose them. So notice he didn't say I, I we we hooked up and then I and then I begged her again to get back to me or I decided to stay with her. He decided, hey, you know what? It was I'm glad that what Harry said worked, but I'm just finding ultimately this is not the person for me. And he has the complete right to do that. Just like she had the right to say, I don't want to date you or I just want to be your friend. Like everybody has the right ultimately to get with whatever they want in terms of what they want from the other person. If he decided after the hookup, he didn't want her anymore, that is in his right. If she decided, because sometimes women will get mad, like, but he should have known, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, women are also deciding to make these moves with their bodies. If you hook up with a woman and then you decide you don't want to be with her anymore, that is a risk that she is, had to be willing to take, okay? So don't fall for it. Women are like, oh my God, you sat with me and then left. I have been with women where I hooked up with them, and then after I hooked up with them, I found out something about them or their past or whatever that made me realize, oh, this is a mistake. I did not feel bad for getting rid of those women because ultimately I knew in the long term they were going to be toxic. But the women also have to be aware that they are taking that risk. If they decide to take that risk with you, that is on them, you can empathize with them, but you don't have to feel sorry for them or think you got to now stick with a woman just because you guys had a good hookup. All right. But all that to say, thank you so much for that update. I appreciate you telling me that because it, it helps people see this and, and look at proof that I'm right with what I'm talking about. And if you want results that are like this, you can go to my website, introvertdatingsuccess.com and sign up for a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. You can also get any of my eBooks. I got a book on how to text, how to get your ex back, what things not to do when you're dating, all available at the website right now. So be sure to check that out like after this broadcast, all right? You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning.